Do you want to hit legend in Hearthstone? Do you like playing decks that get you easy wins like a pussy ass bitch? Do you love playing budget friendly decks because you spent all your money in the hot tub section on Twitch? Ooh, I'm a pussy ass bitch, that's me! Well, lucky for you, if you follow these steps, you'll hit legend and have everyone hate you. I'm already halfway there, might as well get legend now. But hold your horses, kiddo. If you want to hit legend fast, we need to find out what deck you're going to play. And for that, we'll need some math. Ugh. So, what Hearthstone deck should you play to hit legend? Each Hearthstone deck has a win percentage, which basically means how many times that deck has won compared to how many times that deck has been played. If a deck has a 61% win rate, jeez, who's balancing these decks? Then the deck has won 61% of the games it has played. So, just play the highest win rate deck, right? Uh, not exactly. You see, that win rate is just a theoretical probability, or what you expect should happen, not actually what will happen. The win rate you experience with a deck when you play it is the experimental probability or what happens in reality, and I guess it's not really an experiment, but you get the idea. If you're like me, you play decks with a theoretical probability of 39.13%, but my old experimental probability with the deck is 39.14%, so who's bad at Hearthstone now? Then you gotta take more factors into consideration, like how good you are at running the decks, can you afford the full deck, and most importantly, how long does it take to play the game with that deck? If a deck has an amazing win rate, but takes 20 minutes to play the game, you're not gonna be hitting legend anytime soon with that thing. But let's say a deck has a mediocre win rate, but less than 5 minutes per game. Then, that 5 minute game time deck will make you win or lose more games in a faster amount of time. You've also gotta consider how much time you have in a day to play Hearthstone. If I only had an hour to play, I'd rather play 12 5 minute games rather than 6 10 minute games. Now we've gotta put all these factors together. We want a deck with a decent win rate and has a fast game time. So now we're going to move on to step 2, which is the most important part. Play within the first month of a new expansion. But what if it's not close to a new expansion? Hold your hot dogs! This strategy works even if it's not a new expansion, so hold it, okay? You want to play in the first month of a new expansion because the meta hasn't died down yet and everyone is trying out new decks. Let's be real here. If you're playing a deck with a game time of about 5 minutes, it's going to be an aggro deck. So, being able to quickly burst down your opponent during this time will get you fast wins. If you don't know what deck to play, just make an aggressive deck from the previous meta and add some cards you think will work well with it. And if you want to hit legend fast but it's not the start of a new expansion, the same concept applies. Play decks with decent win rates, but most importantly with faster game times. It's that easy, just pop in an aggressive deck and win your games. It's not music theory, come on. And just to prove to you I'm not a fraud, I literally did this the day of the expansion release. Changed the pre-existing face hunter deck into an updated one, boom, did that. Won a bunch of games, did that too. Get an angry message from one of my opponents, wait, what? Sub to my YouTube log. Got him! Like everything in life, there are consequences to trying to hit legend this way. No one likes playing that person who decided on day one of the new expansion that they wanted to play face hunter. Is doing that banned or something? No, of course not. If your deck loses to the face hunter, so sad you'll cry in a corner or something. Jeez. It's one of those unwritten rules of Hearthstone. Like, don't eat the last piece of food, but then no one eats it, so it just ends up getting wasted. All I'm saying, if your deck isn't good enough to stop Phase Hunter and it's supposed to stop Phase Hunter, you might want to rethink your life choices. You've also got to consider how much you enjoy playing the deck too. I know I can't play Phase Hunter for a long time, I actually got bored after waiting for half an hour so I decided to play Arena. Then I got 0 3 in Arena so I guess karma does come back to you. Play decks you enjoy, create decks that would make your mom proud, don't just play things that make you reach legend fast. If you're new to Hearthstone, you might think Legend is something where you can show off to any girl on the street and they immediately flood the block from how wet you got them, but it's not! It's you who got them wet, not the virtual rank. Plus, anyone who's gotten diamond rank knows that the higher rank you get, the more infuriating it is to play in that rank. Sure, getting Legend is cool and all, but it's barely an achievement anymore. Maybe this is a hot take, but getting Legend is more of a matter of how long you've played in a season rather than how good you are. Hear me out here, I don't think Hearthstone players realize how bad the mentality of constantly grinding for legend is to them. Of course it's okay if you want to hit legend and have that resolve to grind, but sometimes you just gotta know when to stop. I'm serious here, don't spend all your dust, energy, playtime, whatever else you do with your life just to hit legend in Hearthstone. This is coming from someone who did that about 5 years ago, oh my gosh I've been playing this game for too long. This was back when I was a naive Hearthstone player in the mean streets of Gadgetstan expansion. I had just gotten into Hearthstone a few months before, and I was finally ready to play some good decks, not decks that had to use Cone of Cold. Yes, that card was still bad 5 years ago, some things never change. 
I was even thinking maybe I could hit Legends expansion if I just stick to one good deck and play through it all the way. And if you know anything about the mean streets of Gadget Stand expansion, um, but since I had just gotten in the Hearthstone a few months prior, I had no dust. I was a broken. I couldn't even craft any deck, let alone Pyre Warrior. So how was I supposed to hit Legend when I didn't even have enough dust to craft anything? But like I'm sure some of you are doing, I did everything I could to try to get the cards to craft this deck. I looked at guides on YouTube on how to get dust. Hey, look at my video there. You should go watch it. Looked at all the Hearthstone YouTubers and streamers to try to copy what they did. Sacrificed a small village. You know the typical grind stuff what you do when you want to hit Legend, right? And with enough grinding and YouTube videos to help me, I was finally able to craft my own Pyre Warrior deck. I actually crafted that deck in the middle of my math class on a broken iPhone 6. I was so scared that someone would find me playing this card game in the middle of class and tell me off. But what's more important? Hearthstone or math? Come on, let's be real. I'd be fine, okay? But now it was grind time. I had my Pirate Warrior deck and it was time to grind that ladder. And I did. I kept winning games, making Dragon Priest sh their pants in rage. This deck was stupid good for the power level of cards back then. Eventually, I hit rank 5. Rank 5 is around Diamond 7 in today's rank system. Wow, just saying that makes you feel old again. Oh my goodness. And just like Diamond rank in this ladder, Rank 5 in the old days was probably the most infuriating place to play Hearthstone. You'd play against three decks, Pirate Warrior, Reno Lock, and maybe Dragon Priest here and there, and pretty much that's all there was. There's no other decks you would play against. And back then, those three decks were practically counters for each other, kind of like Rock, Paper, Scissors. I was playing Rock, Paper, Scissors for weeks trying to get Legend, oh but I kept grinding. I went through rank four, rank three, rank two, and eventually I got to rank one, three games away from that Legend rank I oh so wanted. I was exhausted. I was playing the same Hearthstone deck for weeks against the same decks, constantly bashing my head against the wall hoping I never ran into a renal lock. But still, I was one game away from Legend. This was my chance, all this pain to finally get what I wanted. And then I stopped playing. I was so sick of Hearthstone. I didn't want to see, hear, touch, or do anything with that thing ever again. Constantly playing the same deck for weeks on end made me lose all enjoyment for the game. And ever since that, I maintain that legend does not matter anymore. Rather, it's how much you enjoy the game. Why do people play games in the first place? To have fun, maybe show off how good they are at the game? For me, it's just about having fun doing whatever. I'd rather get whoops but enjoy myself doing it. That sounded way more kinky than I wanted it to. Um, I don't think I would realize how much I don't care about legend if I didn't grind five years ago. I was looking to prove myself as a good Hearthstone player, and I thought Legend was the way to do that. But it wasn't. Way back in the day, you used to get emails about how your month in Hearthstone went. Well, in that month, the email said I was in the top 1% of Hearthstone players in the world. Which, first of all, if someone who's been playing Hearthstone for about 4 months can get 1% in Hearthstone, how much skill does that have in the highest ranks? Let's be real. I did become one of the better Hearthstone players, but at what cost? My enjoyment of the game? I play Hearthstone because I have fun doing it, not because I want to be the best or get a high rank. But maybe that's what you love to do and grind the Hearthstone ladder and all the power to you. It's just not a me thing. You should know that there's a difference between the Hearthstone ladder skill and actually Hearthstone competitive skill. At least with games like Valorant or League, it's more indicative on how good you are at the game. If you can't shoot, you can't win. But Hearthstone's a bit different. Yeah, there's skill involved, but not to the same extent as the other games. If you want to see how good you are at Hearthstone, go watch a tournament. Those people are the really good players at the game. Not Johnny who hit rank 5000 legend playing one deck. But if you want to be like Johnny and win fast and get legend, use this strategy I'm giving you. Just know that according to the unwritten rules of Hearthstone, you'll be considered a pussy ass bitch. Good thing I'm a pussy ass bitch. Thanks for watching! If this guide helped you at all, why not subscribe and check out this video on the screen right here. I'm trying to innovate Hearthstone content and help new players along the way, so if that's what you're into, I've got it all here. Thanks for stopping by! I'll see you next time!